Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, how are you all? Hope you're all doing great. I would really appreciate it before we kick off this video to like, subscribe and leave a good comment. If you're leaving a bad comment then just don't bother. Anyway, we're going to get straight into the video. So as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be talking about, this is kind of just a sit down kind of chatty video. Um, so what I decided to do was come up with my kind of top tips on how to survive online college per se. And this is kind of this is going to be a mix of kind of what I have learned from doing a semester in college. And this doesn't even have to be just college, like even secondary school. I know secondary schools are online at the moment. And I know I might be a bit late doing this because like schools are back and like some colleges are back, but better late than never. Like you can just start this kind of whenever you want really like so I said do you know what I feel like this is something that I would have liked to watch do you know when I was going through online college so here we go yeah, here. so the first tip I have is to find yourself a dedicated space so obviously that is like the most like that is like for studying or anything like that that is like the top tip everyone would say and I know it's easier said than done but like even if it's in your room like just dedicate a space to do all your college work and stuff like that like for example i have a spare room downstairs and like my desk is in there and everything like that and i just dedicate that space to college like my laptop and all are down there my books everything like that and i just close the door and i'm in there basically for the day um doing college work so that's definitely number one is just to have a place where you can just sit down do your work and like leave and don't have to go back down there after you're finished next tip i suppose is get yourself organized so uh, when i say that i mean get pens like get highlighters get um the cue cards get um i'm gonna sneeze god bless me anyway um get your copies anything like that any sort of stationary thing get them because you are even though I know most things especially on college is on like as in on the computer like you're still gonna need highlighters and pens um because for say now like one thing I've learned this year especially if you're given re like so for one of my subjects we had to do a presentation based on a reading we were given so I if you have a printer this is great so I would print out the reading and I would just read through it and I'd have a highlighter and a pen to make notes on as to what point I want to make in the presentation. So it's just easier to find, you don't, know, you don't have to read back over it and everything like that. And obviously this is the whole stationary aspect is kind of more for school, I suppose, just so you're organized and just have everything so you're not stressed because online college and online school is just stressful enough. Like... It's just if you're not organized then you're not gonna go anywhere so that so dedicate space get organized the third thing i would say is and this is one thing i have learned like i i've learned this through kind of different techniques on how to be kind of clear in my head what i have to do as in between assignments like what classes i have and stuff so this is really like a good idea, I think anyway. Like this helped me. Like some of these things mightn't help you, but I do think this helped me. So the first thing I do to set me up for the week. So on a Sunday night, I would look at my timetable for college because some weeks classes might be on, some weeks might. So that's why, I, that's why I've learned to just do it weekly and not just look at like the print out the timetable and just like, you know, do it that way. I just go on a Sunday night, sit down at my desk, look at my timetable or look on my laptop on, on emails in case I got any emails or anything like that saying classes were cancelled or on Moodle, we use Moodle or like on Microsoft Teams or whichever, whichever platform you're using to get your classes and everything. So I sit down, I get a piece of paper and I write. So in college, we have like weeks. So like week one, week two, week three. So I would go by weeks. So I would put down on, on the top heading week one. 
and then I would put down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I'm also working so I put down my work hours on top of that um so that's also handy as well if you're working if you want like because that sets you up for the week then you know exactly what's happening so I do that and I put down nine to um five basically because that's when like college is and that would be schools kind of as well nine to four or nine to quarter to four whichever so I go nine ten eleven twelve etc etc for each day um or if you have a half day you'd only do it for the half day time and then I basically write out my timetable for college. So say now on a Monday at nine o'clock I've gender studies and at 10 o'clock I have another gender studies class. And then I write, and then say now at 11, I'd have a break, this is for argument's sake. And I write down, I have a break. And whenever you do have a break or you don't have anything, you just write down break, break, break or whatever. Once you have your college timetable written out or your school timetable, then what, I you see if I know I've something say outside of college or just normal life things like an appointment or something like that I would write down then when that appointment is so then you know exactly what's happening for that week um because I feel like with online college I feel like it's just it is very hard to wrap your, your head around things and you forget things like I know I have and stuff like that so it's just handy to write all these things down and then it's also just handy to write down when you have breaks. So when it comes to doing homework or assignments, you know what time to like do those assignments and stuff, if you get what I mean. So that's what I would do. And connecting with this then, I have a whiteboard. Now I got a whiteboard in Tesco, three euro, like doesn't hurt the pocket, like literally so easy to get, or even Mr. Price or anything like that. You can get cheap whiteboards. And I use this to write down what like homework or assignments I want to do for the week. So again, I write down like week one and I write down my subjects. So like media, French, gender studies and whatever I want to do or needs to be done. Because in college we have like tutorial work and sometimes they do need to be done because they, especially in French, like they constantly give us work. So we have to like be prepared for that and stuff. So I'd write down what's due like uh when's it when it's due for and um like what needs to be done basically for that week and i think that just like already that just clears your mind as to like you feel like you've so much to do but when you break it down it's fine like when you write it out all out and then when you're done you just get your wiper and you just wipe it out and it's the most satisfying thing in the world <laughs> literally um, I feel like these are all like different tips, but they kind of come under the same one. Another okay. thing that's connected with like writing out lists and stuff like that is what I do. It, it, this is more so for college. I sometimes some lecturers put up all the assignments that are due for the semester, like not when they're like due. Some some do, some don't. Um, But they do normally give like what exams are on and stuff like that. Obviously, you can't do some assignments or whatever until you've actually done the coursework but if they do put up a list I would always on a one sheet of paper write down the subject again as a subheading and write down all the assignments that um are like that are being done for this semester and when the provisional date is if they have one beside it and I this saved me so much especially towards the end because there was so many things that need they were due all at the same time and everything so it really did help me to just know okay what do I need done or whatever so then when you have that assignment done you can just cross it off like it's like the whiteboard kind of technique just the satisfaction of crossing off knowing that you have that assignment done it's unreal like um and I felt that because especially like if you're so I media say last semester or when we were in college was meant to be a practical module so we were meant to be in groups and like recording like um a, a tv broadcast and everything but unfortunately over like restrictions and stuff it wasn't possible so they had to come up with a different alternative and the alternative was just doing kind of a good few assignments and like they'd be due weekly like so 
having those weekly and then other assignments that maybe like you wouldn't get for another month and then but they're all together it just no that's just not okay so it was just really easy it was just really handy just writing down all the assignments that needs to be done and the exams and just being able to cross it off because even if you don't really look at it that often i feel like once it's scratched off you're getting towards the end it's just so nice to be able like i done all them like do you know what i mean like it was stressful but i did all them and it just gives you that relief and I think that's what it's all about. Like just finding these little things that give you a bit of relief about how stressful it is and stuff like that. And same goes with homework or anything like that for secondary school. Do you know, it's handy just to write out, as I said, for the week, like your homework for the week, um, who it's due for or whichever, and just cross it out and make sure it's done. So you're just ahead of the game, basically. Like, ah, like that's all I kind of say on being kind of like writing out your lists and everything. That is definitely, that. I think that's my favorite one. <laughs> I think that's my favorite tip. <laughs> Uh, what else um oh so this is something that i didn't do last semester but i'm gonna try my best to do it and everyone says it but to get out and go get some air because i find that with online college you're kind of stuck in the one room like i know like last it was very bad like last semester i didn't really come out of the room unless i was going in to get food but i bring the food in with me and i eat that like not move like just be at the laptop all day um get ready for work and then head out the door for work like that's just not healthy and i was always tired all the time and all that and i don't want that to happen this year and especially even in myself like i just don't want to be tired anymore like i just want to be a bit more energized so i'm aim especially over starting a youtube like i want to be able to do this while I'm in college, like when I have the breaks, when I can do this and stuff like that. Like, you know, you don't want to be feeling tired all the time and feeling rough. Like, it's just not a good feeling. So I, one thing I'm definitely going to try and do, even if it's for 20 minutes, is just to go up the road, walk up the road and walk back down just to get some air. Because even like when you're doing work and you're stressed, like you just can't comprehend what you're doing. Like, I just felt like my head was all over the place. I was mental breakdowns left, right and center, which all of us would be. And it, that didn't help anything, like it really didn't. Um, so I do, I'm gonna make a conscious effort into getting outside for a bit. Like, as they say, like exercise is just the best thing for like your mental health and just physical health. And it just gives you a clear mind and it just makes you feel good about yourself. Like, do you know what I mean? Like being productive just makes you feel good. So definitely getting active is always a good thing to do. And with that, I suppose, um, another thing that I'm also going to try is eating more like, no, okay, now, this one, bend the rules a bit, like, you know, we're not all perfect, we're not, obviously, when we're in the middle of a lecture, we're obviously going to eat our souls out if our cameras aren't on, or if we're on online school, we're just going to eat what we want, because, Especially like, well, in college, like normally people don't eat during classes. But I know for a fact when I was in school, like I used to try and sneak a few of my, a few bits of my lunch, like while I was in class. Um, so do you know what I mean? Like it's just a natural thing. So when you can do it, you just do it. But I think one thing I'm definitely going to work on is trying to eat um, more filling meals. So I won't have to be snacking as much. Now I know, especially doing assignments and homework and stuff, I find food is the only thing that'll get you through it. Like it, it is realistically, but I'm going to try and get out of that habit. And I think with walking and stuff or getting out even for 10 minutes, like will help with that. Cause you won't feel as hungry then and stuff. And like with that, with eating, like not to, cause sometimes I'd have my dinner is like and everything. Okay. Sometimes now you don't have a choice because your your lectures or classes could be on in the evenings um do you know like it, so sometimes you don't have the option to like go out and to a different room and eat but i think i'm definitely like because sometimes i'd eat my breakfast while watching a lecture because some of my lectures are lives and stuff like that but i think what i'm going to do is going to try and get up just that little five ten minutes earlier go into the kitchen sit at the kitchen table and eat my breakfast and then go into the room then and do what i have to do um same with like lunch and same with dinner like when i can during my breaks even just have those and stuff like that i know it's easier said than done but that's what i'm saying that's why i'm emphasizing i'm gonna try like it's not guaranteed but i'm definitely gonna try my best and i think all of us should too because um 
it's just draining being on like your computer all the time like if you think about it like and especially if you're working as well if you think about it because in work no matter where you work you're going to be looking at screens really like you you are and especially in my work anyway like I'd be always looking at screens over to being on checkouts and stuff like that um but like you're on your laptop then you're on your phone and say in work you'd be looking at screens all the time and stuff like that or you'd be watching tv like there's, there's no, no escaping it so i feel like it's just nice to just like not be near screens or anything like that so you know like not while eating your breakfast and stuff like just enjoy having your breakfast in peace without listening to a lecture or anything like that um what is my next tip i had in my head and now i can't remember <laughs> Oh yes, yes, yes. One thing I'm definitely not going to do as much is be on my phone during lectures. Like I know it's easier said than done because obviously we don't have that social interaction that we would have when we're in classes in person. So do you know like if you find something funny in a lecture, like you would turn around to your friend and you'd be like, oh my God, like what? But over being online, you'd just text it to each other. Like do you know what I mean? You'd be like, what is he all about? Like, do you know what he's all about? But I'm going to try and make another effort to not be on, on my phone as much because I do find like it like that it it makes me lose my focus. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make me listen, even though when I'm off my phone, sometimes I do find it hard to listen. Like I just don't think online is for most people. Like it really isn't. But I feel like there's some times where I, I literally just don't need to be on it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like instead of being on my phone, um chatting to my friends as much i feel like i could concentrate and actually take down notes and understand what's going on um easier said than done i know but we'll just give it a go we'll give it a go and as i said like sometimes you're gonna have bad weeks as well where you literally don't want to even be going to lectures do you know what i mean or you want to be in bed but like we just need to try our best really like hopefully like this will be the last last time we'll be online um i'm praying anyway but yeah just phones need to go like not to be on the phone as much you know? and what else i suppose the main thing is just don't stress like i know it is i keep that's my quote it's easier said than done like it is easier said than done but i feel like stressing isn't really gonna get anyone anywhere obviously you're gonna have a cry i mean i've had plenty of those you know like you're gonna have a cry you're gonna actually want to kill every lecture on the planet or teacher because you just feel like they're just not giving you like this information and that it's just like you're just like oh my god like but i think like bef like after this semester obviously i've complained about how certain things aren't done the right way and stuff like that but i suppose we're all we're all in this together once we no okay no but like literally though we're all in this together like we're all finding it tough like i suppose teachers and lecturers and everything are finding it just as tough as well but obviously we all just feel sorry for ourselves and we're just like oh my god like why can't they do this right but yeah um so i feel like we all just need to like calm down take a step back like when we feel we get overwhelmed just take a step back take a break and come back to it like i know i feel like these are just such repeated tips tips but they're good ones like i feel like i'm really really gonna try and do this for this semester because like for second semester for us anyway and probably most people in college like it's it's a really important year just because it's to do with our like if you want like oh i'm not gonna get into it but it's just an important year <laughs> like do you know what i mean like from kind of many things and stuff like that so we're obviously all trying our best to do the best we can like i know we haven't got our results yet probably by the time or maybe by the time this video goes up we probably have gotten our results i don't know but like it's not the end of the world either like we can pick up on it do you know what i mean like that's what i'm saying first semester was just a trial run now this semester has been the time okay like what have i learned from last semester that maybe i can be better on or make my experience of online college school better like do you know what i mean it just needs to be you need to just sit back and just reflect you need to reflect so yeah i that's kind of my main tips anyway like i feel like that that's all you really need and i suppose just really try your best and give your all into your subjects and everything like that like i know 
obviously it's mortifying answering questions if you don't know the answer and stuff like that but like do you know what I mean like there's no harm or if you genuinely just don't know the answer just be like um I don't know like you know um it's all natural it's all like I think that's it lads I think that's it this is such a random video but I just thought that it would be a good one to do because like I wish there was a video out there when I was starting online college to get some tips do you know what I mean I feel like not many people have done a video about this or who are in college at the moment and have discussed um kind of what they think or what they want to do better or share their ideas of how to do better do you know what I mean but definitely like I hope like this helps people like do you know I, I hope I genuinely do I hope some I hope he takes something from this video anyway do you know what I mean like because that's like that's the aim of this page as well I, I just want to give like a laugh but also like tips and everything like that or just my experiences on like life things basically do you know because obviously college school is like a big thing in everyone's lives um well not everyone's lives but you know most people's lives we're all and in the year that's in it like you know it's just a sticky situation we're in so if I can get someone through or give tips on helping you through this sticky situation then I'm happy as I said you enjoyed this video um if you want to give it a like a subscribe leave a comment but not a mean comment and yeah I will talk to you soon also before I go I'm gonna try and make the videos a regular thing and stuff like that so I'll be on my Instagram it's um emma underscore crow zero zero so I'll be coming on that kind of regularly and if you have any ideas just like let me know like I'm open to anything do you know what I mean literally open to anything because I do enjoy making these videos and I do you know what like this sounds so cringe but I do feel proud of myself like I don't feel like I'm such a self-doubter and overthinker but like I actually do feel proud of actually getting this set up and getting it going and everything like that like it's just like it seems so easy but I don't know it's just not like I don't know um it's nerve-wracking but I actually really enjoy it and I'm definitely gonna keep going whether like zero people watch my videos or whether 100 people watch my videos I'm just gonna keep going and have fun with it and hopefully he will enjoy it too and as I said get some of my tips and tricks um into your lives and hopefully it helps so yeah I will see you soon and thank you for watching